allow evangelist Chukwe Bukanoziobi to drink water drop cup. Allow him to breathe. Allow Zion to drink water drop cup. Allow Zion to breathe, Reverend Sister. Come, wait him. Is it that anytime you just hear Zion do one thing, one program, you just see it as an opportunity to rise? If you want to leave your calling as Reverend Sister, you want to be a blogger, you tell us. We will give you promotion. Guys, I want you to take your time first. Let me not say anything. Listen to what this sister said. Zion just ended program. We just ended program. I am still with myself. I don't want to leave my words. Later, you people will say, MC, stop talking to reverence fathers or sisters like this. Now, now they make now they bring themselves. When you deal, when you disrespect yourself, your younger ones will disrespect you to the core. First. Let us watch what the sister said. I will be right back. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday to you. I just want to address my fellow Catholic reverend sisters. You know, there is this video of a particular person, evangelist, Ebuka Obi, circulating on the social media where he's doing his program in Ngobala, local government, in most states. And in that video, I saw countless number of reverend sisters. In the mood, you know, now receiving prayers from this evangelist, Obuka Obi, you know, shouting Holy Ghost fire, shouting Jesus, Jesus, just like an ordinary person with their habits. Man, I say, sister, I want to ask you, do you really know whom you are? Do you recognize your personality? Imagine that the privilege you as a reverend sister have Let me just tell you The day of your final profession, the day you were finally professed In front of the congregation, in front of your parents, in front of your relatives, in front of the sisters You invited to come and celebrate with you because you are celebrating your final profession In front of everybody, the congregation the bishop they are celebrating together with the priest and the people of God. What are they more? You lay down on the floor, you will read the whole hierarchies, none at the church. The whole none at the church. The sound litany of the sense for you. You were there for complete like 15 minutes. Lying down helplessly, promising God or thanking God for calling you. At the end of it, the bishop will handle you the Holy Bible, crucifix, and to crown it all. To remind you whom you are. Sister, because we have that privilege. The person you are running for miracle, and when this privilege you want. Okay, let me come again. In our communities, when we wake up, we start with morning prayers before waiting for mass, depending on how your community fits it. But there is no community that doesn't say their breviaries. Breviary. Liturgy of the hours. In the morning, there were a morning prayer. And in that morning prayer, there were two psalms and one can't come. Psalms of song. And were an invocation that will prepare you for the day. Okay, okay, and when they need their middays, there's people who say their middays, some don't do to one or two or three things, they don't say it. But during the, the, the between the morning prayer and before the afternoon lunch, there must be a prayer your community will face. Then we move to Vespa, evening prayers. That evening prayer descending in the morning. In the morning, we have Benedictus with the Psalms and all that. In the evening, the same, there is two psalms and one canticle that is um, Sons of Song again with the intercession. The church made it like, and there is this brief readings and have intercession, our Father and Magnificent. We say our holy rosaries every day after the first part. That concludes the Vespa. 
activities continue, recreation, whatever. Then in the evening before we retire to bed, we say what we call Nick Dumitu's good night prayers. In that good night prayers, we crown it with the a song, what we call the antiphon of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So check in a day how many psalms you pray. More than six psalms, the church prepare you as a reverend sister to pray for the world, to pray for everybody. And these prayers are not being said like anywhere else, aside, whatever, in the chapel, where you have the blessed sacrament with you 24 hours to 24 hours. And some people do make it even the with the adoration of the Holy Eucharist every day. Some people do this every day. Some do once in a week. Don't do twice, depending on how your congregation or community organizes it. In the night when you retire to bed, sister, you have time because you have the blessed sacrament in your house. Or when you go for siesta, during these hours, there is nobody in the chapel. You will never find anybody, any sister in the chapel. Like the hour to retire to bed from let me say 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You have that time to go to the chapel. You can cry, express yourself the, the, the way you want it because you are with your God. Talk to him. Pray to him. And inside the chapel we are praying, there is different, different images of saints and the Blessed Virgin Mary. And also, what do you call it? Sessions of the cross where you can do your own. There is Express yourself the way you want it. If you have this daily, daily, daily as a reverend sister, you still have the opportunity. You still have that time to be running. Which these things I'm mentioning, Obu Gobi doesn't have it. He's not privileged to have them. Rather, he invite people, he invite priests to come. He paid, he pays them to come and give it to people. And King Nwake again, as a consecrated person, you see God, they are standing in the midst of people, doing the same thing, a market woman, Mega, as soon as you need her, hit your head on the ground. Give one as a reverend sister, you will hit, you need her, hit your head. Enum baka ge baraga. Gano obuko be ge baraga. Gano ebubo mwansa ge baraga. Gano need the work. Gano kune rene. Everywhere you are there. Sister, please. Please now. Does that mean that now the things in the information in the or what you are in the congregation or in your community, you are not, that which you have, you are not recognizing it. Please ask yourself some questions. There is something wrong with you. Please, and I beg on, on our bishops to kindly write to our mother generals of every congregation. I will not say the local superiors because some of these local superiors, they got their superiorship not by merit. Yes. Remind our mother generals so that they can address the people hunting you as the superior. You can imagine a community where a superior bull is uh, with the head of uh, 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 this Ebu uh, Kobe sort of stuff. Other members will be seen as the devil in the, com the community. Uh, uh, she doesn't want to participate because she's, she's possessed. So please write to our mothers. Remind them once again what the congregation and what their community stand in the church. The like a church, I know near. Please, thank you and God bless. Guys, with what I heard, now, don't tell me to hold my mouth. Madam, I will make sure I bring you out with every speech you made. First of all, I want to say this. Some people are disgraced to their calling. It is very obvious. Now, this thing has made me to understand that what Evangelist Chukwe Bukano will be saying is certain fact that some people were forced to do this duty. Jealousy is the most wicked thing that can ever happen to a man. Madam, I want to start with your, to correct you, talking about privilege. Evangelist Chukwe Bukano will be chooses not to be a reverend father. He chooses not that he cannot. 
because he has the privilege to be a reverend father. The reverend father doctrine and the commitment, he is qualified. One. Number two, you're talking about the reverend sisters that come to Zion. Believe me, you are not better than any of them. The people you see that most times they come to cry to God in any way of their level doesn't mean they don't have what to feed. They have multi billionaires that recognize God in their life. When it comes to the things of God, they are humble at any level. As far as the maker, they are ready to give it all. So what you are trying to tell me as a reverend sister that you said you are, is that if a reverend sister want to pray to God, they have a specific place they go to that is very clean, that is very neat. You are talking about Poto Poto. Are you trying to tell me the name you call Father Mbaka that is in Enugu that have a prayer ground? Are you trying to tell me that everywhere have been, have been cemented? Are you trying to tell me that those places have been cemented? You open your mouth again and said that you indirectly you are calling them shame on them. That is what you are saying indirectly. So, now, them coming now, you have insulted them. Okay. Another thing is, them coming there, many of them have gotten solution. They've gotten results. If anywhere you are going, you get solution. People go there and get solution. People go there and, you nah, know, people will keep going there. Just that you are a problem that you hate yourself, that you hate Zion. And you hate what God is using Evangelist Chukwe Bukano's will be to do. People like you, 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 madam. I want you to tag her if you know her because I don't, these kind of people, I don't know them in my life. We just finished program. You just open your mouth. You open your mouth and somebody will say, is a sister. Hello, you have, you have, you have belittled yourself to me. Hello, yes. That is just the truth. Now, you are talking about reverend sisters that come there. What about the reverend fathers that come there? Are you better than Father Okunereri? Are you popular than him? Are you better than him? men that recognize this grace? They have great men of God, great priests that recognize this anointing. Are you better than them? Because of you notice you have a hundred phone of 25,000. You choose to you all right to do video. You open your mouth. Wait, how dare you even open your mouth to call evangelist, to call a buka? What is doing there? Are you what? No, are you well? Let me start with that. Are you well? You prompt this. You say, what is? Hello? I don't understand this. No, Bishop, please. Can somebody talk to this woman to see that? If you want to be a blogger, tell me. I will help you be a blogger. I will make you a blogger. Now, I want to dig into your profile now. Yes, you are the one that brought yourself out. We will help you. You are brought yourself. And you are going to prove. You will bring a proof. I will make sure the legal team invited you. <laughs> Madam, go and ask questions. You said evangelist Chukwe Bukanos, you will be paying reverend fathers. Pay them to come and pray for the Zion ground. Or to come and indirectly to conduct mass. Or indirectly to do one or two prayers. That is what you said. You will provide the payment receipt. You will provide the priests that have been paid. Madam, you have just brought yourself. Oh. See, you see this thing you said eh? <laughs> Jesus. I will personally make sure the legal team go through this video. Share this video to any legal team you know that is working in Zion. Share this video to everybody. I want this woman to be seated and stay from afar to watch her speech. Madam, talking about bishop. Are you trying to take the position of it? Thank God you are not a bishop. And our, our chief mother, that is the language I want to use, the mother of all the reverend sisters, in the God will bless you. For seeing this video and forsaking this kind of person, you as a reverend sister, you become a reverend sister, you are not restricted to go to some places to pray. As far as you are praying, you can pray without ceasing at anywhere. Zion is not a Catholic church. Zion is not a church. It is a prayer ground. Like a Where people come to pray, to intercede. So because of your reverend sister, you cannot go down on your knees in a dirty place to pray to your maker. 
You cannot go down on your knees because you want to, you say your wife will be dirty. For a man that is the supreme king, people came to Zion virgin land to pray. Because of you hate Zion, you hate evangelist Chukwe Bukano, Zubi. You are a hater! And it's jealousy that causes it. This shows us that you have lost it. I don't want to throw a word of insult. I just want to put my point. For me, you are not again. You have off. I will make you popular. Jiggy, don't worry. <laughs> but with all these things you said, I wish and I pray. I want to beg my Lord, His Lordship, the Bishop himself, to call this woman. That why will she open her mouth to be start telling Reverend Sisters where they will be going to pray? So, Father, Father Okunenele that came to Zion, that begged the bishop on air and said, Bishop, please. He said something, which I will not say anything here, on air. And as well, another Reverend Father from Olu that came. Reverend Fathers, do you know how many different Reverend Fathers that comes there? Are you more higher ranking than them? Mother, you have pride. Go and sleep. You have pride. You are a disappointment. Ah, I, know you, I know you are disappointed that you have failed. You have failed on your line. So you want to find a way to see how you can call attention of people. But if you want to get fame, get it right. I will leave it here because your investigation has started. I will help you be popular. I am waiting for your next episode. Share this video to her. Let her see this video. Madam, I am coming, I'm just coming back from the mountain. If, see, I am not supposed to be fighting my fellow Christian, but I believe, I just looked at you. I don't think you are a Christian. You just want to wear, I, I'm just saying this, you just want to wear a uniform because of other people are wearing it. Yes. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not insulting your office. If anybody finds this as an offense, I am sorry, but not to her.